Hello everyone, Jeff Bauman here, and today's tutorial is going to focus on the Google Classroom assignment. That's right. This semester, in addition to making your science unit, you are also going to create a Google Classroom to house all of your lessons, assignments, step-by-step -step instructions, learning materials in, and our assignment is really what I consider to be your, your final because everything in EDD 485 is project-based. And so the final big piece after you're done making your science unit is you need to create the Google Classroom for all of the materials to go in. And now some of you are saying, Jeff, why do we need to create a Google Classroom? We're gonna teach all these lessons in a class in front of students. Well, in the past, I would agree with you. However, right now, I'm sitting at home teaching science to middle school students from this very computer that I'm recording this video on. And there's always the distinct possibility that you will have to be ready to go online now. And that means you're gonna have to house all of your material online in a learning management system, LMS, just like the one I'm about to show you. This is a very real thing now. So what you're going to do for this assignment, there are three parts to it. Um, there is create a Google Classroom, very easy to do. Create a classroom banner, which is very fun to do. And I have to tell you right now, it's something that you could get really wrapped up in and it could take you a while if you really go bonkers on it. So I had fun doing it and I think you will too. And then finally, the last one is your online classroom, your LMS, where everything is hosted. Okay, so to walk you through this, um, before I get started, I'm gonna kind of give you a little sneak peek of my science Google Classroom. So right here, I have my sixth grade science classroom. And in each of the assignments, we have videos that will show you all of the tips and tricks on how to build the classroom. And there's also, a May the 4th be with you um, presentation that is on uh, announcements as well I'd like you to take a look at. So right here at the top you have four tabs. You have your stream where all of your uh, informational posts can go. Um, classwork, this is where all of your work is housed. People, these are all your students and obviously right now I'm not going to show you that. And grades, uh, if you choose to grade on Google Classroom you can do that. All right. At the top here, you have what's called the banner, and you can either use one of Google's banners, or you can upload a picture of your own, or you can make a really fun one like this using a Bitmoji, like I did, and you are actually required to do that in the next uh, task. All right, so right here, this is my sixth grade science class, uh, getting science done, go figure, I put that on there. Um, and your class code, and so for me, this is my, class code for my students to get in and all of you watching right now as you're trying to get into my classroom trying that code you can't because this classroom is locked down to Gibraltar users only okay and so right here in the very front this is called the stream and mine is set up to where my announcements and my classwork posts will um, show up on the stream so right now my assignment for my students today is to read and respond to science questions out of their TCI Bring Science Alive textbook, amazing science series, by the way. And out of 124 students, three of them are complete with their work for today. They started early on Monday and 121 are gonna get started. So right here, you'll notice I kind of lay it out for my students much like I would for you on Canvas. I give them step-by-steps, do this, then that, then this, then that and they work their way through it. They know they have to turn it in. Here's my email. Um, if they need to uh, email me, ask questions. And all of the, the links that students need are right here so they can log in and they can jump into their textbook and these links take them exactly where they need to go, right? And the biggest thing with online instruction is you need to set it all up in a manner where it doesn't matter who logs in, everybody should be able to figure out how to do the assignment, okay? And either that it will require you to type it all up like this, or you might have to do a screencastify and record yourself walking students through and, and link that up down below. 
or uh, like I'm doing right now, I'm actually using Zoom to record this. Zoom will create an MP4. I'll take the MP4, I put it on my YouTube channel, and then you get to watch it. You see how to do the assignment, and I do the same thing for my middle school students, okay? So step number one is to create a Google Classroom. And when I jump back onto Canvas here, you're gonna create this classroom, and you have a tutorial video right here to watch. They show you how to make the video. She's so excited to create Google Classrooms, look at that. And you are going to create the Google Classroom. And your submission for this assignment is in the text submission text box. You need to give me the class code. And what's gonna happen is I'm going to join your Google Classroom, probably using my personal Gmail account. And I'm going to join as a student to take a look at your classroom. And that's how I'm going to grade it. I'm going to look at it through both the teacher eyes and the student eyes. So step number one is you are going to create your own Google Classroom. Now, when you go to classroom.google.com, it's going to ask you, should I create my classroom as either a student or a teacher? And the right answer is teacher. Um, if your UMich email does not allow you to create an account as a teacher, you might have to create your own personal account uh, your own personal Gmail account to create your own Google Classroom, right? So step number one, create your own Google Classroom. I'm gonna go back. This is the fun part now. Step number two, you are going to create your own Google Classroom banner. Now, when you look in my Google Classroom right here, this is all custom. This was something I made. And what I used was Google Slides and Bitmoji, okay? And some of you are thinking, Jeff, I don't have Bitmoji. Well, you're gonna know, okay? Because kids love it, it's fun, it's cool, it's hip, it's very uh, trendy, if you will, right now with Google, okay? So for this assignment, the Google Classroom banner, uh, this individual is going to show you how to make one of these just like I made my own. I actually watch this video to make my own Google Classroom banner. So watch the video, and while you're watching the video, have Google Slides open, have Bitmoji open, and what you're gonna do is build while you watch. So I would watch a little bit of the video, and when you get to a certain point, hit pause, and then work between tabs to create your classroom banner. And I believe the video is about eight minutes long or so. And it's just a great step-by-step -step on how to do it. And then when it's all said and done, you're gonna take your custom banner with your Bitmoji on it, and you're gonna put it in your Google Classroom. Kids dig it, like I said, it's really cool. And below, here's an example of my Bitmoji, which is right here. This is the one I just made, and the students that know me uh, know that I'm a NASA Solar System Ambassador, and my Laptop has a NASA sticker on it, so it's right there. I raised a lake sturgeon in my room. So I inserted an aquarium with a big lake sturgeon on it. Um, since we're learning online right now, I put virtual office hours, hashtag, it's all right there. And the submission for this assignment is the JPEG or PNG file. And you're going to turn that in on uh, Canvas right here and make sure that you have the correct correct due date and make sure you submit it correctly. So step number two, making your own Bitmoji banner of awesomeness. Very, um, could be time consuming if you get real picky with it. Um, make sure you leave yourself enough time to do it. And step number three on this assignment. Right now, like I said, I am teaching from home. Teaching science from home is a very difficult thing. And you might someday down the road have to know how to do this. A lot of schools had to scramble, prepare really fast once we got the stay at home order and schools were closed for the school year. And you need to know how to do this. So right here in the Online Classroom Learning Management System, LMS, you're gonna to wanna to know what LMS stands for when you interview someday. And I know some of you are thinking, Jeff, you keep saying that when you interview in the near future. Well, these are all key things that you must know because when you interview, you're gonna to wanna to know them. Again, you have a tutorial video at the top. 
and right here, here, your assignment details. For this part, you are going to host all of your lessons in your Google Classroom. So you are the teacher, you built your science unit, you have the lessons, you have to host them all in your Google Classroom so students can do them from home. Or if a student misses school a day, all of the instructions are on Google Classroom and parents and the, and the students know to go to Google Classroom to find their makeup work and get it done. In your classwork tab, you're going to utilize the assignment or material posting options for your lessons. Each lesson plan that you create in your science unit must have its own post. You are not gonna post all six lessons on one post. That's not gonna happen. That's too much content, too much information, and that, that's not how you do it, okay? And you're gonna host your work for your students. And again, you have to have step-by-step -step instructions for them to follow in order to complete the tasks at hand. You have to provide all the, the needed hyperlinks, uh, resources, the websites, the uh, G Suite application, so any Google Doc, Sheets, Slides, Forms, whatever you need from Google, those all have to be linked up, and multimedia. So if you use a YouTube video or a podcast, you have to have that linked in as well. At the end of the lesson is where you are going to need to insert a question. So that's another post. You need to insert a question that is going to serve as a formative assessment to gauge student learning. And you're gonna post a question and uh, students will, if, if this were a real classroom, students would go in and respond to that, okay? And again, do not post all of your unit materials under one posting. So the way I see it, you'll have six assignments or materials that you'll post and six questions that will go at the end of each lesson. And again, to jump into my own example, if I were to go up here to classwork and I wanted to hit create, I would use question. And so after I post a lesson, I would turn around and post a question. So I would type in the question right here, provide instructions on what to do. Um, for your Google Classroom, you would just set that as ungraded. You don't need to uh, grade anything. And then when it's ready, you would just click on the post button or ask in the upper right hand corner here. And this again serves as your formative assessment. It's almost like your ticket out the door when students are done. And um, it's a, a really cool feature, okay? And so I'm going to get out of that. And each of the lessons and their formative assessment that you post are worth 50 points a piece. You are going to post your Quizlet vocabulary study set. And when you post that, instead of creating an assignment, I would use a material for your Quizlet study set. So you'd click on material, your title, Quizlet study set. Right here, I'd click add, link, and link up your Quizlet study set. And in the other video, I showed you how to um, share that out. Okay, or in the uh, Quizlet study set video, I believe they share out how to um, share the link. So that's there, that's how you will do the Quizlet study set on that part. And lastly, the Google Classroom that you create must look professional and it must be set up in a manner that students will be able to learn from this. Very important. Uh, if I go into your Google Classroom to grade it and I feel like it's a mess, you will lose points there. Um, this has to look awesome. Again, this is, in my mind, your final project and it's, you can treat it like a final exam. This is where you shine. This is where you put everything together. So in your science unit, you're going to build six awesome lessons and then for your final, you host them all on Google Classroom so students can do them if they're at home, if they miss school, if they need to finish up at home for homework, that's where everything will be housed. Your submission, um, really easy. You are going to submit a text entry on Canvas that says done. This lets me know that you are ready for me to uh, grade your assignment. 
Also, I have to have your class code in advance. And so in step number one, I shared that out. Class code has to be there so I can have access and I can see everything. All right. Again, a couple things. You can use your UMish Gmail account to set up your own Google Classroom. You have to create one as a teacher, not a student. If your UMish account does not allow you to um, create a Google Classroom, you're gonna have to set up a personal Gmail account to create a Google Classroom. Again, log in as teacher, not student. Some of you are saying, Jeff, well, I have a Hotmail or I have a Yahoo email or whatever. I don't feel like getting a Gmail account, all right? Now, I understand what you're saying there, and, and I get it, but I'm not telling you you have to switch your email to Google. I'm saying you need a Google account for Google Classroom. This is a Google assignment. So if you don't have access, you might need to make an account to do the job, okay? With that being said, this is a quick walkthrough on how to do these three assignments. Um, again, this is all project-based. And I want you to create your own Google Classroom and get familiar with this because much like the term LMS, knowing how to run an effective Google Classroom is something that's very important. And it's something, again, when you're interviewing someday that you can share out and say that you know how to do, which is a big thing, okay? As always, any questions, email me. I hope that you use this video, pause along the way, while you work, I hope this helps you out. If you get stuck at home, make sure you're getting science done and build an awesome Google Classroom. Thank you very much. Have an awesome day.